video today of this JCL MP250. This right here is a, is a really great scooter. I, I love it probably the most out of all the 250s we sell, mainly because it has the Linghai Yamaha motor in it, which means it's a better motor. It's, they're in cahoots with Yamaha. They're putting out parts that are related with Yamaha. So this is a lot better motor than what you're typically going to get with most of the 250 Chinese stuff out there. Uh, the other thing is that a lot of the parts they use in this motor are actually Japanese parts, and they basically had the brains of the Japanese, you know, the guys making the motors over there, send it over to China, explain that, hey, this is how we're going to make our motors, and the Chinese basically have assembled this motor for them. Now, what I wanted to do first is kind of show you, if you're getting this thing shipped to you in the crate, sometimes, since this is such a big unit here, it basically comes, as you see it here, in the crate. The only thing you have to do is put the windshield on, the mirrors, and the trunk. The trunk I don't have in this video. We haven't put it on yet. But sometimes you can get what's uh, basically called shipping damage. And you can have a little scratch here, right there. These are basically spots on the, uh, on the body where the crate itself, the metal crate, where it, this unit could have shifted in, in during the shipping process. Maybe it was handled a little too rough. And then it it falls off its alignment a little bit and then starts digging into one of the actual frame pieces that are holding this unit in. Sometimes, it's, it's not common, but it's not uncommon either, that you'll see something like this. When you get your unit, don't refuse it. Just go ahead and take it, and what you're going to want to do is take the box off while the driver's there, and you're going to just do a walk around real quick. And you're going to basically look for stuff like this. These are, if it's, if it's on the unit, these are about the two spots that it ever is. But if you see some damage like this, what you want to do is just notate, hey, got a little shipping damage on here. So that way you have record of it, the shipping company has record of it, and that way we can go ahead and send you the parts, and then we can go collect our money from the shipping company for the parts that we sent you to replace on this. Most of the parts are real easy to replace on this thing, whether it's a body panel, seat, windshield, you know, if you, whatever reason, crash or go down, it's usually a couple bolts, and now you have the parts replaced. We do stock and sell the parts for these units, and uh, so if you ever do need that, that part service, we definitely are here for you for that. First thing I'll go over is this is a, this is a two-seater scooter right here. It's made for two adults, full size, like myself, typically, and you're going to be sitting right here, and then your passenger will be right here. You have some foot pegs here. These are serving as handles, basically, so they can hold on without falling off. And then the trunk will typically come about right here, so you have that backrest area. You've got two ways that you can put the scooter up. You've got the side kick stand here, and then you've also got this other stand here that's called a center stand. Basically, bring the unit up just like this, push down with your foot until you feel that it's, it's on that center stand. You hold right here, and then you just step up, basically. And now it's on the center stand. People like this a lot because, you know, if someone's, if, you're, if you left your scooter and someone's walking by and they're checking the scooter out, sometimes if they lean it up to check something out, which can happen, then what can happen is it'll fall off the stand right here, and so it's just it's just better to use your center stand. But you do have both options, which is you know really nice. Got your motor right here. This is your intake for the uh, the air. So you've got your air filter right behind here. This does have gear oil in it. And your gear oil is actually located right here. That's your your uh, where you fill it in, and you've got a drain bulb on the bottom there. Got 13 inch tires on the front and back. Over on this side, you've actually got independent shocks on each side. It's not independent, but it, it goes with the swing arm. You've got two, two shocks set up right there. You've got big hydraulic brake on the back here. You've got a nice quiet exhaust system on this. This is where your oil for the motor is actually going to go right here. And then you've got a, a bolt on the bottom to drain it. You've got real big lights on the back so people can see you while you're driving. You've got your blinkers back there as well. Right here, you've got real big levers. so. If you, need to, if you need to grab the levers, sometimes they're kind of small, kind of called finger levers. This is where you can really just get on those brakes if you need to. Real big, thick levers here. The controls are set up, that is like a sport bike. You've got your, your kill switch here, it's your on and off. You've got your start button right there. Lights on and off. You've got your blinker, your horn, and then your flashers right there. On your gauge here, you've also got your tachometer, your speedometer. You've got your gas over here. You've got your temperature control right there. You've also got a time on here, and you can adjust the time using this. You've also got an MP3 system here, which is also a radio system. This is your on and off. 
you've got your MP3 and FM switch right here, your volume switch here, and this is your scanner, so you can scan up or scan down. The plug-in for your MP3 is right underneath here. So if you have an iPhone, you can just plug it into this, stick your phone back in here, and then control it up here. You've got storage right here. Right underneath here, you've got your gas, and then this is where you actually fill your radiator for that. Right here, that's where your key goes. You've also got a lock on it. So if you get your turn your key the other way, pull it out, no one can take off with your unit. You've also got your alarm system here. You've got your lock, you've got your unlock, and then right here, this is just kind of turns your lights on, and if you press this button here twice, it actually starts your unit remotely. If you start your unit remotely, make sure you press your unlock button twice so it turns off all the power. All right, on the front here, you've also got your, your foot pads. These are like little aluminum plates right here that screw on, and so it just it really makes the unit look very nice. You've also got hydraulic disc brakes here in the front. They are ABS, so it's an anti-lock brake system, so if you're stopping too fast, it'll start catching you a little bit, so that way you don't just burn your brakes up. 13-inch tires make it ride real nice. This unit has very big headlights in the front, as you can see here. You've got your turn signals right here. These are your daytime runnings up here as well. You've got a nice big windscreen right here. So as you can see, as I'm sitting right here, it helps to just deflect the wind over and around your face just like this. It's a really great unit. It's going to do top speed about 75 to 80 miles an hour, depending on your rider weight conditions. You've got your headwinds and so forth. But I personally have been around 74 miles an hour on this unit. It's a great unit. Definitely recommend it. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. I get a good laugh a bit on the website.